please review CRC evidence, and share content with everyone. Google was stealing from my artist and I, by breaching the YouTube contract, and sharing our content overseas in India with premium adverts, also they have not credited our view count. We have not seen a dime of the advert revenue, other YouTubers are victims too, we demonstrate with CRC records which are good enough to stand up in court, and CRC protects the integrity of the United States election polls. To give a sense of how valued they are, Google has apologized thus far after being confronted with allegations of theft, and we are dragging this around the web creating awareness for others, with those whom share of course. We are protesting on all of our video content in descriptions and burning artworks that should be for community and the works have been stored intended to be used for later display. Until we are compensated with satisfaction, and we see some change we will fight Google. The CRC records show timestamp data of when and where ads were placed, and names of other YouTubers. Google thinks they can take, and Google doesn't want to pay creators until they have to. All CRC files taken by PDF download of the Indian hosing site Finchhair.com, they are available for everyone to download as the group listed Google and YouTube fraud exposed. Information that supports the integrity of the documentation is supported by citing gov. Eduant. Org sites. Please do examine and share supporting all involved and community, we have had a pledge to support community in our endeavors. All ads have been removed at this time from VidShare by Google and the site's traffic has plummeted from being a top 2000th site worldwide up rocks, according to research on the site with tools such as Alexa.com that still shows record. Alexa is an analytical web data engineering site that rates number one in the niche standard by having a good reputation providing data on all websites worldwide. Please support the page, share and invite those likes. Thanks to all that do. www.facebook.com web link. To summarize my documentary work, I took interest in doing the documentaries of Carl Quintiliani about two years ago, while studying in school I was hanging around the Starbucks in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida where I met Quintiliani and learned of his artworks and realizing just how unique he was. These are street art documentaries. Quintiliani has served the public with his performance arts for nearly a decade so far. After some time documenting the works I labeled him as the world's fantasy 3D image street art master. We have a diverse lineup of playlists available and to my knowledge we have produced more video documentary footage than what's been done on any other known famous street artist, that measures up with street credit at Quintiliani's level. Links to the channel are provided at the bottom of the page for those interested in following the story as well as learning all the histories we have made in this endeavor. In the beginning, I though Google would place a high value on the works like I did, I was told we would have to fight Google but I did not actually believe it, and so a Google documentary was born. YouTube is not so squeaky clean either, I have tracked using Bitly URL shortener links and by their count on some of the documentation we see credits for 50 views from YouTube, when Bitly shows us data on 1000 views. That info is on what has been tracked, there's so much over the web we are unable to consider tracking it all. YouTube has a form page where they tell users it's called normalization as a way of settling out the upset YouTubers sensing unfair treatment. Every day, it's knock em dead, kill em all, never give up. Just keep painting Carl Quintiliani hash CFQ hash Carl fucking Quintiliani.